So looking at it, you can see the little chunks of um, potato that I didn't mash up too well. But it is a it is a pretty dense bread. Hi everyone. So uh, with November being Native American Heritage Month, usually I take this month to explore different recipes from the different nations, and. Today, uh, I was really actually quite curious about, about this bread because it uses ground acorn. And uh, being from New England, I, I think half my life I've pronounced it egg, egg corn, which I believe is in the Webster Dictionary. This is really dorky for like words that people typically pronounce incorrectly. So yeah, t uh, usually we, I feel like I have been saying egg corn but it's, it's acorn, uh, apparently. Acorns come from oak trees. One of the really cool things about cooking Native American cuisine is you really have to do your job foraging. Like, even if you live in the city like me, I've had to go to my local parks a couple of times and nearby woods just to see what I have uh, available. And what I don't have available are acorns. Um, there are a couple of, I actually even went to, um, it's, uh, it's, it's a place called Epping Forest that has a ton of oak. It must be that the seasons are just completely different here because I did not, I might have seen like two acorns fall to the ground and they were already all like kind of bug eaten and all of that jazz. So I don't think it's easy to find uh, acorns, acorns at all. But I was able to find acorn flour from, uh, from Poland. What a lot of people say, especially I think, um, you guys know I, I do a recipe usually from the sous chef uh, cookbook every year. Um, and I'll put that link down below. But he says that it is um, acorn, acorn flour, is a mix between, uh, tastes like a cross between hazelnuts and sunflower seeds. So, um, yeah, I mean, I taste a little bit of the flour. It's 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 somewhat. Um, it is a little bit nutty, but it's also kind of innocuous at the same time. So I I don't know how I I would uh, describe it. I do think one of the really interesting things about um, cooking Native American cuisine is that it does force you to like look around your your surroundings and to see what you have. And maybe like if you don't have you know acorn and you do have sunflower seeds or you do have like maybe like hazelnuts, um, like the UK is, is has a ton of hazelnuts, um, then that is something that's really cool to do. And I just thought that, I do end up saying this every year, but if you are someone that does celebrate Thanksgiving, you live in the States, um, it is probably very important that you look into Native American cuisine and then from there, you know, look into a little bit more of history, a little bit of current events as well, and to, you know, really like educate yourself on uh, like a holiday that, you know, <laughs> uh, that you're celebrating. So um, yeah, so acorn bread, um, I'm gonna show you how to make it first and then we'll test out a piece of this. Uh, and then I bought some I bought some acorns actually online. So we're gonna dress this up, we're gonna style it. It's gonna be really pretty. Um, yeah, all right, cool. So I start off this bread with a little bit of preparation work. I'm just warming up the yeast first with uh, just some warm water, nothing nothing too harsh. Um, and then afterwards, I'm gonna prepare the cornmeal. So with my six tablespoons of cornmeal, I'm just adding in a little bit of cool water first and stirring that together. And what that does is it gets rid of the lumps in the cornmeal before we add in some boiling water. And what the boiling water does is it starts activating the starches in the cornmeal and so the mixture starts becoming a little bit more of like a thickening uh, agent as well as as a binding agent So 
So I actually got this recipe from a blog called Little Things, and the writer of the recipe uh, actually comes from a Cherokee family, but this recipe has roots more based on the tribes from the West, so more towards the California region. But one of the reasons that I, I liked this recipe was because she added in a mashed potato. And I just thought it was a really nice way of using the vegetables of the land. I thought that the potato would probably uh, give the bread a nice, a nice fluff and a nice texture. So uh, for me here, I'm just casually mashing up this mashed potato. I'm leaving some lumps in there because I think maybe it'll, it'll add to the fluffiness of the bread. Um, and then very importantly, you want to make sure that the potato and really everything else has had a chance to cool before you add in your yeast because that way it'll it'll kill it off. I think what you all will find out is that this dough behaves very much like a gluten-free dough. So you very much have to kind of like scrunch it up and compact it together uh, in order to knead it. So what you're supposed to do, we're gonna put a cover on this and then let this dough rise in a warm place, let's say for about an hour, and then we'll put it into the mold, into the bread mold, let it rest again, and then uh, we will bake it from there. Okay, so it looks like it hasn't grown, but actually uh, it kind of has. <laughs> so I have the loaf pan here and I just oiled it and then dusted it with some uh, corn meal and then also some of the acorn meal so this could be the biggest mistake of my life if it does not <laughs> so I'm just gonna punch this down a little bit and then go ahead and form that loaf You can see, um, yeah, there's like little chunks of, of the potato that I didn't mash up too well, but I think um, it is a fairly dense bread, but I imagine it's quite nutty. And I would think like if you toasted it, it might work really well as even like a cracker if you wanted to do double duty. Acorn does have an interesting flavor to it. It is a certain nuttiness, but it is not a strong nuttiness at all. So you, you can definitely taste this throughout. Okay, I think it was just blabbering on here and I needed a day to really taste it and, and to process the flavor. Uh, I think acorn actually has like a slight pepperiness to it. Like 
uh, perhaps the sunflower seed comparison was true in that it was a very like neutral kind of like basic you know like your typical like maybe like a nut or a seed flavor it's not too strong but I did realize that it almost had it had like a an undertone of sourness but then also like this pepperiness to it and and that that was kind of just how the bread uh, tasted like so I uh, was quite enjoyable it was uh, healthier tasting it was one of those uh, more dense kind of like rye breads I'm sure uh, most of you all have had that before so um, I think it's a it's a nice addition to you know whatever you might be having for the holidays it's something different and like I had mentioned earlier if you don't have acorn flour you could very much substitute for you know a nut or a seed and then try out this recipe uh, that way all right, so I hope you all enjoyed the acorn bread uh, recipe. Stay tuned for more Native American uh, recipes, obviously coming up this month. And um, yeah, I will see you all again next time. All right, bye.